Happy Monday, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mo Mondays. In this week's episode, it's going to be quite a short one, a nice, easy one. I'm going to teach you exactly how to sign into your brand spanking new MTR OA or Microsoft Teams rooms and Android device. Now, once you have gone ahead and got your uh, device installed and switched on, hopefully you've already created a room resource account. If you have created your room resource account, you know it works and you've just switched on your Teams rooms and Android device, you will be given this screen across here. Um, so as soon as you start up, this is the first screen that you'll see on an Android device. It gives you a little code. It tells you step one on your computer, visit this particular website. We'll get to that one in a second. There are actually two or three different ways to actually sign in. Um, the first one, of course, is the code option, which is the easiest option, and I'll show you that one in a second. Uh, but you do have the ability to actually go ahead and uh, hit the cogs in the top right-hand corner. If you hit the cogs in the top right-hand corner, depending on your install, so depending on uh, kind of what type of business you are, if you are a, a government entity, as an example, you have the ability to select your different clouds. So whether you're GCC or GCC High or DOD, etc. cetera. Um, but for most of us, 99% of the time, public is the one that we want to do. Of course, if you are mass installing devices as well and you want to go ahead and provision devices, you can effectively take down the Mac IDs uh, and inside of Teams Admin Center actually preload them uh, as provision uh, types of devices. Um, if you are doing that, then it's as easy as clicking the provision device button and then entering the code that's shown in the Teams Admin Center. Uh, and that will then get, get your device uh, up and running uh, and provisioned uh, onto your tenant. Now, in order for you to sign in, very, very easy. There's actually two main ways to do it. The first one is using the most easiest function, which is um, uh, using the code, uh, or the other way is doing the old school way. So the old school way is just down here at the bottom. You can go sign in onto this device and then manually go ahead and type in your whole SIP address and the password, and then that will get you signed in. For most of us, we want to make it nice and easy. So all you have to do is uh, log on to uh, this particular website. So I'll just drop the link uh, just down here below, HTTPS microsoft.com forward slash device login. So let me go ahead and switch over straight to that portal and show you what it looks like. So if you give me one second, uh, hit that, hit the share button, and it should pop up. Um, so what I've got now is the uh, device login page. It will then say to you, enter your code. Now remember, this particular code is on, only lasts for about 10 minutes, I believe it is. Um, so after about 10 minutes, it will refresh and you'll have to re-enter the new code that's displayed on your Teams Rooms device. Um, so in true Blue P of fashion, I've gone ahead and uh, actually uh, dropped in what the uh, code is. Go ahead, hit the next button. That will then give you the options to go ahead and sign into your account. Uh, so if you've already signed in before, uh, then it will show your different logins across here. If not, use another account and sign in. Um, a quick tip. When you do use this web page, so when you do use the microsoft.com forward slash device login page, I highly, highly, strongly, strongly recommend to use an incognito window or an in private window if you're using Microsoft Edge. Reason being is if you are logging in from, let's say, your laptop or your mobile phone, um, because of the cookies and things on your device, it may show other accounts. And if you've got like auto signing enabled, it will try and sign you into like a different account versus the account you're actually trying to sign. In. Uh, so I always use an in private window. So if you use an in-private window, hit the use another account button, or if it's showing already, uh, click it across the top there. Um, it will then ask you for your password. I've already signed in earlier on, so I don't need to worry about it. So you enter your password. Once you've entered your correct password, it will then show you this screen. Are you trying to sign into the authentication broker? The answer is yes, if that is what you're trying to do with your Teams Rooms device. You simply go ahead and hit the continue button. The web page will then say to you, hey, you can now close this window. So I'm going to go ahead and switch back over uh, onto my Teams Rooms device and quickly show you what it looks like. There we go. Loading up for you now. So literally, it, it was in seconds. In seconds, it pops up this window that says Active Directory in the top corner. It will say signing in. It will then go ahead and connect. Uh, and, and, and apply any kind of security options that you may have set up. So if you've got like conditional access and things like that set up, this is the point when it will automatically start applying those policies onto your machine. But there you go. It is as easy as that. I am now signed into my machine, providing your resource account is all set up correctly. I can start making calls literally straight away. And for the first, actually stayed within my five minutes. Guys, thank you so much. Make sure to like, subscribe, and follow the YouTube channel. And no doubt, I'll see you guys next week. Ciao.